Reports have once again emerged that Tesla is using BYD's Blade batteries in the Model Y in Germany. But that's not the interesting part to this story. The very interesting part of this story is something that nobody is even mentioning, and I can't understand why, because I'm still baffled by this. It seems to me as though Tesla's efficiency lead is staggering. I mean, how can this add up? It doesn't seem to add up, but apparently it does. Apparently, this is just what happens when you're Tesla. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name's Sam Evans. I'm coming to you from, from Thailand, actually. I'm obviously from Australia, usually. I'm actually curious here. How Australian is my accent? Like, if you heard me speaking, would you 100% think straight away that guy's an Aussie or would you not? Because when I was in Europe, I often got speaking to Deutsch. I got things like where people said, oh, I'm not, I wasn't sure you were Australian. So I want to know what 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 your thoughts are let me know in the comments i'm genuinely curious i've always for years i've wondered on this question anyway getting back to tesla so reports are that tesla is using BYD's blade batteries in the model y which apparently is a structural battery pack which makes sense for two reasons one tesla uses structural battery packs at the gigafactory in texas they're better they're lighter they're structurally more rigid it just makes complete sense Plus, it also makes sense because they're using Giga castings apparently now for the front and the rear of the German-made vehicles. What this means is you get a lighter car, you get a more rigid car, you get a more efficient car, you get a car that can do more range with the same size battery pack. Speaking of battery packs, this is the part that I'm, I'm still baffled by. I think everyone is, and I think that's the reason why no one is really talking about it. Now, there will be YouTube channels out there, I'm sure, that will say, I know the answer to this. It's because of this, 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 this. And they just make up a bunch of stuff. And I don't know. Yeah, people hear it and gullible people listen, believe it. And the ones who are not gullible say, yeah, whatever, mate. So here's the thing. How are BYD getting such a low amount of range in comparison to Tesla? The BYD Addo 3, yeah, it's not a low amount of range, but it's low in comparison. It appears as though Tesla are using the same size battery pack from all the reports that I've read in the Model Y as the battery pack that's used in the BYD Addo 3. But the thing is, the Tesla Model Y is a much bigger car than the BYD Addo 3, and yet they get an identical range. Identical range. It doesn't add up. I mean, the Tesla Model Y, is, it's legit probably a bit more than 20% bigger than an Addo 3 in every direction, whether that's height, width, length. So what is going on here? How are Tesla able to achieve this? Well, I think Tesla have been working on integrating the BYD Blade battery pack, the CTP, into the Tesla Model Y chassis. Now the CTP is a essentially what BYD use as their structural battery pack to use Blade batteries. It's in the BYD seal, for example, and BYD came up with this idea after hearing about Tesla doing it. That's the truth. You'd hope they'd admit that because that's what happened. Basically, Tesla said, we're going to use a structural battery pack. And BYD went, yeah, brilliant. What we do is we see what others do. We copy it and we try to do it better if we can. Really smart move, in my opinion, by BYD. So BYD now use CTP packs in a range of different EVs that they sell. Not all of them, but about 30% of their EVs now come with the CTP pack. So that's what I think they're doing here, most likely. Now, the other thing here that's worth mentioning as well is this. Tesla's 4680 powered vehicle in Texas, right? The cheapest model now that you can get for about $50,000, or about a bit less than that now. But after the tax credit, the price now comes down to around 40,000. So I believe it's about 47,500 US dollars at the moment. However, that vehicle comes with 4680 battery cells, a structural battery pack, giga castings, and it gets 279 miles of range, which is 445 kilometers. The Tesla Model Y at Gigafactory Berlin, being made with BYD Blade battery packs, which are lithium iron phosphate battery cells, not the cells being used in 4680 batteries. Now this 4680 battery cell is a combination of nickel, manganese, and cobalt. So those cells should be more energy dense. 
than lithium ion phosphate cells. On average, lithium ion phosphate cells are around about 20% less energy dense than cells that are called ternary batteries or the batteries that Tesla use, the 4680 cells. How is it that the range of both cars, considering they both appear to have the same battery pack size is the same? 279 miles is just under 450 kilometers. The vehicle coming from Tesla's Gigafactory in Germany has just under 450 kilometers. It's about 450 kilometers. In other words, both Model Ys have the same range. Now, one thing though that's worth pointing out is that one of them is different to the other. Now, the vehicle coming out of the Gigafactory in Texas, it's all-wheel drive. Therefore, it should, in theory, be heavier because it has a front motor as well as a rear motor. That should add approximately 200 pounds to the weight of the car. Whereas the Tesla Model Y coming from Gigafactory Berlin just has the rear motor, meaning it should be approximately 200 pounds lighter if it also has a structural battery pack and Giga castings. So that is probably the, the difference. It's likely the vehicle coming out of Germany is 200 pounds lighter than the vehicle coming out of the factory in Texas. That therefore would explain how the vehicle in Texas gets the same range as the one in Germany using lithium ion phosphate cells, but it still does not explain why Tesla gets the same range out of a much bigger Tesla Model Y versus an Addo 3 using the same size battery pack, the same cells coming from the same company. If you work for BYD or Tesla and you know the answer to this question, please let us all know in the comment section. Thank you for watching.